my name is Natalie Pien, and I uh, live in Leesburg, Virginia. How has Food and Water Watch given you hope? It's just inspirational to work with people with unlimited commitment, energy, and dedication to the cause. And in this particular instance, I'm speaking about Jolene Mafnes. Food and Water Watch has taught me a lot of kind of effective and focused organizing. What does community feel like at Food and Water Watch? I feel like it's it's a group of like-minded people that it's very easy to talk with. You can speak freely, and I appreciate that love, that kind of community where you can be yourself. You don't have to pretend to be somebody else. Oh, that's also my favorite part, is definitely <laughs> the relationships I've been building. It's more like you can't address these issues unless you address the people and the environment at the same time. Food and Water Watch, you know, is um, an important part of my life now. You know, I, I am very happy to donate to the organization because um, there is a personal connection developed between the organizers and the uh, grassroots community. And I just feel like I'm becoming more and more who I was meant to be. And the Food and Water Watch helps me in that way become, become who I am. <laughs>